Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. People started getting sick just by being near Mel's Hole, a dark, mysterious pit with secrets that run deep. In 2017, a group of daring researchers found this chilling spot and ventured further into its shadows. As they shared their eerie experiences of strange lights and spooky sounds, fear and curiosity spread. What horrors are hidden in its depths? Join us as we reveal the terrifying truths of Mel's Hole that have shocked the world. Secrets of Mel's Hole. The more people learned about Mel's Hole, the stranger things seemed. Some said they saw odd lights coming from the pit at night. Others talked about hearing eerie sounds. Despite all the investigations, no one could figure out the pit's secrets. The mystery just grew deeper, drawing more and more curious people to the area. What's even more baffling is that some locals started to report health issues after spending time near the pit. People began to wonder if there was something dangerous about it. The mystery of Mel's Hole continues to puzzle everyone, making it one of the most intriguing unsolved mysteries in Washington. When they dropped a camera deep into the hole, the images they captured were so unsettling that they quickly left, aware of the lurking risks. This story explores Mel's Hole highlighting the eerie discoveries and the brave actions of explorers. Mel's hole isn't an average hole. It's a wide, round gap about nine feet across, bordered by a stone wall. The wall drops about 15 feet and then leads into complete darkness. The hole has been used as a local dump for ages, even before Mel Waters and his wife arrived. Strangely, anything thrown into the hole vanishes silently, without a sound or sign that it has landed which confuses everyone involved. But this wasn't the strangest part. Mel reeled the line back in and swapped the weight for a pack of Lifesavers candy, hoping to detect any water at the bottom. He let the Lifesavers fall deep into the hole, but when he retrieved them, they were completely dry. Persistent, Mel continued his attempts by tying more fishing lines together and sending them deeper into the darkness. He unspooled nearly 10,000 feet of line, almost two miles down, yet the bottom was nowhere to be found. The odd behaviors weren't just with the dogs. The area around the hole was eerily quiet, with no sounds of birds or insects. Birds seemed fine when flying over the hole, though. When Mel talked about this with his neighbors, they had similar stories about their dogs. One neighbor shared a shocking story. He had lost his dog recently and threw the remains into the hole in his grief. A few days later, he saw the same dog with its collar alive and wandering in the forest. The dog didn't respond when called, acting like it didn't recognize him or like it came from a different place, almost like a story from a science fiction book. There was a mysterious hole that puzzled everyone. The only way to find any clues was through the curious listeners of the radio show Coast to Coast AM. As more people heard about it, the story of the hole became darker, drawing the attention of government agencies who made secret discoveries shared on the popular radio show. The story continued with details about Mel and secret military operations. The hole that changed how people thought and the radio show that shared hidden truths were discussed. This part mentioned lands with restricted access and secrets that stayed hidden. Listeners suggested using lasers to measure the hole's depth or radar to see below the surface. But sharing his story had serious consequences. The hole became a global sensation and Mel accidentally gave hints about where it was. But this wasn't the worst part. The next day, Mel found himself banned from his own land. The U.S. military noticed the hole and secured the area, stopping anyone from entering. Helicopters were flying over his property and continued to do so into the next day. Mel found himself caught in a web of events that were spiraling out of control. The enigma of Mel's mysterious hole. At one point, Mel's radio played songs from decades ago. He tried changing the station and found a broadcast of a baseball game from 1967. 30 years earlier. When Art first talked to Mel on his show, they chatted for an hour while Mel was in Ellensburg, but Mel couldn't get back to his land. The military blocked the way, armed and ready, claiming there was a plane crash. They didn't show any evidence of a crash, but still stopped Mel from entering, saying they needed to investigate. But this wasn't the end of the trouble. When Mel asked to speak with their leader, a man in civilian clothes showed up. He hinted that Mel might not own his land anymore and suggested there might be illegal activities there, like secret drug production. When Mel threatened to go to the media with his concerns, 
the mysterious person just laughed and said, Go ahead and talk. No one's going to believe your stories. But here's the twist. Art Bell and his radio audience loved hearing strange stories. Soon after, Art contacted Mel to see if anything new had happened. Mel shared a strange story from a neighbor who saw a dark beam of light shooting up into the sky, cutting through the clouds. It was a strange and scary sight. Even though Mel didn't see this himself, Art Bell and many callers on his show knew that this part of Washington was known for strange things. There had been lots of UFO sightings, mysterious disappearances, and other weird happenings. Callers to the show had all kinds of ideas about the hole. Some thought it was on a ley line, an invisible natural grid that carries spiritual or cosmic energy. They speculated that the hole could be a portal to another dimension or even a tunnel through time. They even suggested that things and animals thrown into the hole might end up in a different universe. One of the wildest theories from a caller was that the hole could be an entrance to the hollow earth, a mythical idea that says there's a hidden civilization inside the earth. This led to even more wild theories from listeners. But since Art couldn't check out the property himself, he relied on local stories. An old neighbor remembered ancient stone structures that used to surround the hole, hinting that it had been a mystery for a long time. Meanwhile, listeners warned Mel about talking too much about these wild ideas. They thought it might attract unwanted attention or make people doubt him. But that wasn't the worst part. Some listeners worried that discussing these theories could bring real trouble, making people curious or even scared. They suggested Mel should be careful about what he shared. At around half past 10 in the morning, there might be a risk because the authorities could be watching. As the show ended, Mel said he would come back to share more updates. But when it was time for him to appear again, he was nowhere to be found. He didn't answer his phone or any messages. This made a TV team decide to go to Ellensburg to investigate. When they got there, they didn't find any sign of the supposed hole. Instead, they found military documents and details suggesting a recent or ongoing military presence. It took three long years before Mel shared that he had been offered about $3 million each year to let his property be used under strict conditions. He had to stop talking about the site, move out of the United States immediately, and promise never to return. Returning home seemed simple, but it led to unexpected twists. The mysterious path of Mel Waters. Despite these strict rules, Mel took the offer and moved to Australia for a few years. But he started feeling homesick, missing his family and familiar places. Eventually, he decided to sneak back to the US to see his family again. As Mel made his way back, he faced more and more risks and challenges, always looking for the hidden truths about the hole. He knew he wasn't supposed to return, and everyone warned him not to. Ignoring the warnings, he came back to see his family and even planned to share more on Art Bell's radio show. But then, things took an unexpected turn. On the day he was supposed to speak on the radio, Mel was traveling by bus to visit his nephew when a big argument broke out among the passengers. The fight got so intense that the police had to step in. All the passengers were questioned and then put on another bus to continue their trip. But Mel's day got even stranger as he suddenly passed out. When he woke up, he found himself confused and in a San Francisco alley with 12 days missing from his memory. His wallet was gone, his arm was sore with marks from needles, and there was tape residue suggesting IV treatment. To his horror, he also discovered that some of his back teeth were missing leaving him scared and confused. But this wasn't the worst part. Mel's troubles only got worse. He never managed to return to his property. Soon he got caught up in legal issues over unauthorized buildings and roads on his land, developments he hadn't approved. Even though he said his land had been used by the government, it didn't matter. Mel ended up losing everything he owned. After trying to reconnect with Art Bell, Mel found out that his bank account had been emptied. Many people started to doubt his story, thinking he made it all up. But Art Bell, always interested in a strange tale, invited Mel to share his story again. A twist, Mel mentioned that a TV crew once tried to find the famous hole on his land. Although they didn't find the hole, they found evidence of significant military activity in the area. Adding to the mystery, a sudden restriction was put in place, banning planes from flying over Mel's property with the no-fly zone growing over time but this wasn't the end. A satellite imagery website showed a mysterious black square over the area around Mel's land, hiding any details. 
While some people thought Mel might have made up his story based on this strange black square, the ongoing mysteries and unusual events around his land kept people talking and wondering about his saga. Six months had passed since Mel first reached out to Art Bell with no clue of what was about to happen. Just when Mel's story seemed like it couldn't get any stranger, an unexpected twist came. A Native American tribe from Nevada contacted him after hearing about his strange discovery, a hole with no bottom. They had a similar phenomenon and thought Mel might help because of his unique experience. Excited by this new adventure, Mel headed to Nevada to investigate another endless pit. This second site was in a different area, and before they could go there, Mel had to talk with the local Native American community in a group called the Bosque. They wanted to make sure Mel wasn't hiding anything, like connections with the media or government. Mel's next adventure promised surprising discoveries, the abyss of Nevada's mysterious pit. Once they trusted him, Mel was taken to the new site. Everyone was curious about what might be at the bottom of this other hole. Unlike the first one, this hole was on public land, not tribal land, the Bosque who came from the region between France and Spain and had been in Nevada since the 1800s for sheep herding, claimed this site as their own. This community saw the hole, which was at least two centuries old and about nine feet wide, as a sacred place. This pit was different in appearance, with a metal ring lining its inside instead of stone. The metal used was also rare. During his inspection, Mel noticed a strange warmth coming from the pit. When he dropped a tool onto the metal by accident, there was no sound. It was like the sound got swallowed by the abyss. Intrigued, Mel and the Bosque community started doing tests. They lowered a bucket of ice down to 1,000 feet while keeping another batch of ice above ground to compare. When they brought the bucket back up, the ice on the surface had melted, but the ice from the depths was still solid, warm and dry, looking like blocks of salt. When they tried to melt this odd ice with heat, something even stranger happened. It caught fire and burned for a long time. But this wasn't the worst part. As they continued experimenting with different amounts of ice, sometimes it melted normally, but other times it turned into the strange burning material. As curiosity grew, a daring idea from one of the Bosque members to go down into the hole was quickly rejected by the group, recognizing the dangers involved. So they came up with a new plan, lowering a sheep into the well. It might sound strange, but that's exactly what they did. The sheep seemed to know something was wrong and fought hard against being lowered into the dark. It was as if it knew something weird was about to happen. The team carefully lowered a crate with the sheep down the well, aiming for a depth of a thousand feet. Suddenly the rope stopped moving and an eerie feeling filled the air. A strange humming noise surrounded them. After leaving the sheep down there for 30 minutes, they pulled the crate back up. At first, everything looked normal, but when they looked closer, they saw the sheep was dead. This shocked and scared everyone, making them feel like they were dealing with something really mysterious. The locals, who knew a lot about sheep, decided to examine the sheep's insides to figure out what had happened. What they found was both alarming and strange. The sheep's insides looked like they had been heated, and a huge growth took up most of its body. Things got even weirder when the growth started moving on its own. Shocked, they decided to cut open the growth, revealing something that looked like a baby seal, but not quite. It was attached to the growth by something like an umbilical cord, but its eyes looked very human. The seal-like creature moved itself to the edge of the table. Mel felt it wanted to go back to the well. Despite its slimy texture and strange smell, like the air after a thunderstorm, Mel carried it close to the well. They all watched in silence for hours. Then in a quick moment, the creature jumped back into the dark well. A new encounter changed everything for Mel in an unexpected way. Mel's transformative encounter. But this wasn't the worst part. Before this happened, Mel was dealing with a serious cancer diagnosis. The doctors hadn't given him much hope. Yet after this strange encounter, his health started to improve miraculously. He felt better than he had in years. Mel believed that his recovery was because of the interaction with the mysterious seal-like creature, thinking it had somehow healed him. This whole experience changed Mel's life completely. He had stepped into a totally different world and came back changed. 
As the radio show episode ended, there was a serious warning to the listeners. The path to the mysterious well was still open, but everyone was advised not to go near it. The clear message was that approaching the well could lead to very strange and dangerous events. Terrifying results emerged, like completely disappearing into the unknown. Several months later, Mel returned.